Okay, so how's the start of the season going for you? Well, it's good. I mean, we've uh, dropped three points in total. Uh, our possible 35, we've got 32. Best start we've had for quite a while. So there's a lot of very big positives at the start of the season. Um, but it's a matter of we've got a really tough six games coming up now. Um, starting against Hull on Saturday and then Colby away. So I think we'll know where we are more in about six games time. Now, some people were speculating at the beginning of the season that perhaps your away form might not be that good, particularly as Jason Robinson was only playing the home games. But actually, you've done really well. Yeah. Well, we never actually said Jason was only playing the home games. Um, we're reviewing the situation on an ongoing basis. Um, currently, Jason is playing the home games. Um, but as you've said, we've played four away and uh, we've won four away. Um, but as I mentioned earlier, we've got Coldy coming up and that will be a big test for us. But I'm very pleased that uh, we've actually won as many home games, uh, sorry, away games now than we did the entire season last year. So it's uh, a good start. Yeah, compared to last year, I mean, what, what are you doing differently this year? Why is it working for you? Uh, I think we were besotted with injuries last season. We actually didn't have a bad start last year. We were getting points, went to Hull, um, at the start of last season um, and if I looked at the programme of that team compared to the programme for this uh, coming Saturday and you know there's a massive difference. Um, we were throughout the season we were always struggling, we were up against it through certain circumstances and we just got into a rut um, after Christmas. It, it was very difficult but we, we managed it, we actually got out of it by winning the Lancashire Cup against Preston and then we finished the season relatively okay. Uh, but this season we had a decent pre-season, um, there's been new changes you know, in personnel, um, we've freshened up the squad, um, and there's been a really good positive vibe around the place. So it, a, a lot of rugby in the sport is confidence and belief, and uh, you know we're playing with that at the minute. Is part of that belief coming from maybe Brian Ashton? What impact is he having on, on the players? Well, Brian is a, an exceptionally good coach. Um, I think that the philosophy I've always had is a very attacking-minded philosophy. Um, a lot of that was influenced actually by Brian when I was a player. Um, so I think it's great that I can expose the players to that kind of um, mentality, which is it's not attack at all costs, but it's a very positive putting opposition under pressure. Many sides um, at all levels, including international, struggle grasping that philosophy. Um, probably the only team at the moment in World Rugby that actually understands it is the All Blacks. Um, so with Fylde, we're trying to train the way we play, which is this putting pressure upon opposition from any given part on the pitch which doesn't mean it's spraying the ball about. I've still got a lot of structure to the game, but within that structure there is a philosophy of attacking the gay line and attacking the, the space that the opposition leave, or we create the space for us to attack into. And Brian is very articulate at, in, in that area, uh, and that is transferring across into the players. Now, Jason Robinson, he's only played two out of your seven games. So has he really made an influence on, on the players? Yeah, you don't have to play to be an influence. Um, Jason Robinson is a world-class player at both codes. Um, he is the consummate professional, is an exceptionally and always has been an exceptionally positive force in any change room he's been in. He is very influential on the mentality of our players. Players aspire to be in a team and, and, and perform in a team that they play alongside such a charismatic um, person. Um, so he's a natural leader of men by example and he's very, like Brian, he's very articulate in the way that he can uh, motivate people. Um, so, you know, what, he may have only played two games but his influence runs deeper um, with the impact he's made upon the players from the, in the change room and within the squad. 
Now you've had some other signings as well, haven't you? Um, Paul Arnold and recently Alistair Lipsey. What are they bringing? Well, Paul Arnold, uh, I've known Paul since he was a, a young player. Um, I've coached both of those at previous clubs, Alistair and Paul at Oral and Paul Arnold at Sale and both of them were Lancashire. Uh, now Arnie is an exceptionally talented player, um, he's matured a great deal and since his early days and he brings a great amount of intelligence to mm -hmm. the, the, the team. He's also a very gifted rugby player and players feed off him. Alistair Livesey is a dominant force in the scrummage and we've, we've now got a really good unit of props mm -hmm. that offer different things which is always good to have in terms of balance and, and how we can play different sides and at different periods of the game. So both of them in their own unique ways do bring a good angle to the squad. Do you think that Arnie might be um, one of the forerunners in terms of becoming the top try scorer this season? Uh, I think Arnie will probably like to think so, um, but uh, as a forward he's got bigger things to contribute. It's he, great if that he does score, um, but we have a lot of firepower across the team and if Arnie contributes to the scoring then happy days. You played non Eaton away last week, you won 53-36. Can you give us just a brief review of the game? Some people are saying that perhaps the defence wasn't that good, that perhaps you're letting too many tries. It was a crazy game because we didn't kick any of the conversions uh, and we'd scored four tries within 15 minutes and effectively been brutally honest. After five minutes we were never going to lose it. Um, so it felt like we won the game, but the maths of it was that they scored two tries and got a penalty and we were only 22-17 up just before half time. Managed to get another try before half time but then extended that lead to 51-17. So effectively we were playing on a field um, away from the main stadium uh, against a side who just decided to throw a caution to the wind and to be fair to them they stuck at it. We tried to play Harlem Globetrotters type Basketball, rugby, it didn't come off. They scored a bonus point try. However, we've addressed that this week. Um, but the, the Nuneaton game was a freaky kind of game. It was a, a crazy, it was almost like an end of season game in the early part of the season. Um, so sort of stuff like that happens in sport. So looking ahead to this week's game, it's at home against Hull. It's one of your toughest oppositions to play. Um, are you tightening up? Um, in terms, no, we're gonna, we don't change our philosophy of play. The one thing that will tighten up is a focus on defending and tackling because we will aim to thwart their attacks and force turnovers, which enables us to play more with ball in hand. Um, so, again, last time out we, you know, we lost in the last minute to Leicester Lions, so. We've got to, we know we've got to play for the full 80 minutes plus injury time and we've got to be focused and concentrate for that amount of time. As you say, it is a tough game. All games are tough. If we want to be and aspire to be at the top of the league and challenging, you know, we've got to face these, these games week after week. Are you making any changes to the team? Uh, in terms of his squad rotation, obviously Jason comes back in, Martin Waller goes to the bench. Um, we're going to start Grant Ferguson and bring um, Dan Waller on as we go through the game. Uh, Steve McGuinness comes back in uh, at seven. He wasn't available last week. Uh, Ali Sutherland is progressing nicely as a run out in the uh, second team. Matt Gargi is coming back from injury. He needs a full game. He will play in the second team as well. So, um, you know, there are certain movements within the squad, but essentially it's pretty much the core squad that's playing this Saturday. Okay. Ellie, thank you very much. Okay.